Wow, Sublifters. Today I want to talk about the topic which is very, very misunderstood and it is something that I see a lot in the Q&As of mostly athletes, which is motivation and discipline. And usually what happens is that a fan asks, hey, insert random athlete, how do you stay motivated? The answer is, I don't stay motivated, I am disciplined. And that can really just sum up the whole discourse. However, that is not enough for a video, so I'm gonna kind of analyze this whole thematic. Basically, what I picture in my head is a young kid, like 14 years old, 10 to 14, who actually um, has never really had any... It's kind of condescending to say, but I'm gonna say it. Never really had any hard challenges in his life, never really had any big walls. So he never kind of understood the idea of grinding and putting on the hours in order to get through something. So of course, what he understands is motivation. He sees a video of, I don't know, Chris Bumstead, and he says, yo, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna smash this workout. I feel so motivated. He goes there, he does it. The next day, he wakes up, he's a bit sore. I, I mean, he had a work, good workout, maybe. And then it's time to go to the gym and he says, well, but you know, yesterday, I mean, I had did that very nice workout, I trained legs, I usually don't do it. So today I can skip, which is the mentality also of people who are like, yeah, you know, uh, I ran in the treadmill for 20 minutes today so I can eat this pizza. And of course that just, I mean, he created a calorie deficit and he just filled it back up and then he can lose weight. So this yo-yo mentality of one day I'm motivated, so I go and I work out super hard. The other day, maybe I don't feel like it, so I don't do it. It's extremely detrimental to progress, of course, but you already know it. But what I want to tell you is that motivation is like a fire, okay? You just need a single spark to start this fire. However, once this fire is started, okay, you can't pretend that it's going to burn forever. I could have said and basically talked about this metaphor in the sense that it is now your duty to keep reinvigorating this flame and never let it uh, turn to ash, okay? But that is simply not true. What happens is that this flame once started and it was beautiful and sometimes it's gonna spark again, okay? But in the meantime, everything is cold. Discipline is cold. Motivation is fire and discipline is cold. Okay? They are opposites, however they are both needed, because motivation is what, if it's actually a real motivation, and it's not that, oh I just saw somebody work out so I, I want to work out, it is like I want to actually change my body, I want to do my best, I'm talking about lifting here, um, if it's actually something deeper down, you are going to go there even in days in which suck. Also the hardest part is actually doing it for the first time because once you actually drag your ass to the gym where you feel like you have no strength you go there, you do your warm-up sets you start doing your top sets and guess what? it's going well <sighs> I'm sorry um, it's going well why is it going well? well, it's going well because your body doesn't really understand uh, tiredness or not he understands Pushing and not pushing, that is all the muscles understand. They either get contracted and they, pull, they basically exert strength or they don't. Easy, nothing else. Everything else it's in there. So once you get your rest to the gym, even though you are tired, you are showing discipline and discipline builds up over time. And you know what else builds up over time? It's momentum, it's momentum. The more you keep training, the easier it is to keep going. For me, it's natural to just train every day. I don't have to think about it. I don't really have to say, oh man, today I've got to train, I'm so tired. I don't, because number one, I have training. Number two, it's been 60 days pretty much, almost 59 maybe, that I've been doing this thing. So I'm just, it's perfectly fine. My numbers are going up. My weight is going up. Everything is fine. Why do I need to take a day off? With, without not having their, that like day off written down in the program. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, also, uh, I am extreme, okay? You, most likely, are not going to have to train seven days out of seven. 
probably four to five out of seven, maybe six. So you actually do have a day in which you can rest. You do have it, so and it is scheduled. So why the hell do you wanna take another day off? What's the point? It means that you can't run a push pull legs two times a week. Maybe it's better for you if you do a push pull leg upper lower. So it's five days a week and you get that extra uh, rest day. What's the point of uh, running a harder program that gets you in the gym six times a week if you skip two days? There is no point. You need to be disciplined, okay? You can't expect to have this fire which is strong. Fire is strong, okay? When it's cold, there is nothing there. It's just going there and doing it. The fire, however, is strong. It's, a, it's an extremely powerful emotion and that is why it is not sustainable, okay? You cannot live motivated. You can't because you can't sustain it. It's a flame. It bursts and then it will die. You can't maintain that mindset. You cannot. Forget about it. Forget it. Forget it. Be disciplined. Be cold. Be disciplined. There is nothing there. There is just you going to the gym and doing what you need and what you have to do. That is all there is. Nothing else. Everything else is just extra. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't watch those motivational videos. I, from time to time, also do it. Before I pulled my one rep max deadlift, I did watch a motivational video for me, okay? It is something that has its place in the whole training environment, but you can't expect to feel motivated every single day. All you need to do is going there and doing it. Nothing else. It's easy. It's way easier. I mean, if you think about it, it's easier to just go there and do it than to, okay, I now need to find a reason to, for me to actually feel motivated and go into the gym. Oh, let's think about it. Um, well, I already saw Chris Bumstead. Uh, I saw the videos of Ronnie a lot. Maybe, I don't know, maybe... I don't know, maybe David Lane will do it today you, and you start to watch, you're wasting so much time when you should just get down here, start to doing those reps and after you did your warm-up set, all of the willingness of not working out will be gone. I can guarantee you, after you do your first sets, it's gone, nothing else, you're just there and you're working out. So, don't overthink it. Motivation is not sustainable, discipline is cold and it is what you want. You need to be disciplined. You don't need to be motivated. You get motivated once and you stay disciplined forever. That is how it works. Sometimes you will get motivated. Sometimes. But you're still going to be disciplined. They can exist in conjunction, in conjunction, okay? But one cannot exist without the other. In the sense that you cannot be disciplined over something that you've never been motivated to do once. Okay? And if that makes sense, you cannot stay motivated forever over something without never being disciplined and doing it. So the whole idea is get motivated once and stay disciplined forever. See you guys in the next one.